In this session, I will explain about numerical problems on molecular weight of polymers. We can define the molecular weight of any chemical compound as the sum of the atomic weights of each of the atoms in the molecule. For example, the molecular weight of water is calculated by adding the atomic weight of two hydrogen, that is 2 into 1 and the atomic weight of oxygen, that is 1 into 16. So total is 18. But we cannot calculate the molecular weight of polymer in the similar manner because polymers are made up of many monomer units with different chain lengths. For example, polyethylene having the repeating unit of ethylene. However, in the same sample, some chains with 100 unit and some other chains with 150 units and so on. Therefore, the molecular weight of the polymer usually represented by the value of average molecular weight. First, let us see what is the number of average molecular weight, that is Mn bar. It is given by the formula Mn bar is equal to N1 M1 plus N2 M2 plus so on so on plus Ni Mi whole divided by N1 plus N2 plus so on so on plus Ni where N1, N2, N3 up to Ni are the number of molecules with the molecular weight M1, M2 up to Mi. Next, the weight average molecular weight is given by Mw bar is equal to N1, M1 square plus N2, M2 square plus so on, so on plus Ni, Mi square whole divided by N1, M1 plus N2, M2 plus so on, so on plus Ni, Mi. Now let us solve few numerical problems on the calculation of molecular weight of the polymer. Here the first problem that is a sample of polymer contains 25% molecules with molecular mass 20,000, 45% with molecular mass 30,000 and remaining with molecular mass 60,000. Calculate the number average and the weight average molecular mass of the polymer. Now let us solve this problem. First, let us uh, list out the given data. So here N1 is uh, 25 and its uh, M1 is 20,000. Similarly, N2 is 45 and its uh, M2 is 30,000. But here N3 is not given. It is mentioned that remaining percentage. That means we have to subtract the first two from 100. That is 100 minus 25 plus 45. And the answer is 30. And its M3 is 60,000. It's already given. So first let us calculate Mn bar. We have the formula. That is Mn bar is equal to 2. N1 M1 plus N2 M2 plus N3 M3 whole divided by N1 plus N2 plus N3. Substitute all these values to this formula. And the formula becomes Mn bar is equal to 25 into 20,000 plus 45 into 30,000 plus 30 into 60,000 whole divided by 25 plus 45 plus 30. It is better to simplify term wise uh, to avoid confusion. So here the product of 25 into 20,000 is 5 lakh. And the product of uh, 45 into 30,000 is 13 lakh 50,000. And the product of 30 into 60,000 is 18 lakh. On simplification, it becomes this much. On further simplification, the answer is. 36,500 units. Next, we have to calculate Mw bar. And the formula is Mw bar is equal to 2 N1 M1 square plus N2 M2 square plus N3 M3 square whole divided by N1 M1 plus N2 M2 plus N3 M3. Substitute all these values to this equation. Then the equation becomes this much. And the final answer is 43,424 units. 
then polydispersity index can be calculated by dividing mw bar by mn bar substitute the value of mw bar and mn bar it becomes 43424 divided by 36500 and its value is 1.18 this value always should be greater than or equal to 1. Now let us see second problem. A polymer of polypropylene is found to have the following composition. Polypropylene with the 400 units with 20%. Polypropylene with 500 units with the 30%. Polypropylene with the 600 units with 50%. Calculate the number average and weight average molecular mass of the polymer. They also given atomic mass of carbon is hydrogen is 1. Neglect the molecular mass of R. Now let us solve this problem. Here they have not given the molecular weight. Instead they are given the structure of polypropylene along with the number of repeating units. Here each unit having three carbons, one, two, three, and six hydrogens, three, four, five, six. We can calculate the molecular weight as 12 into three. 12 is the atomic weight of carbon. Three is here, the number of carbon atom is three plus one is atomic weight of hydrogen uh, into six. Six because here the number of hydrogen atom is six, three, four, five, six. And the answer is 42. So on the basis of this, now we can calculate the molecular mass of these three. So the molecular mass of A, the molecular mass of this one is this 42 into this 400 units. Its answer is 16,800, which is nothing but M1. Similarly, molecular mass of B, molecular mass of this one is this 42 into 500. Its answer is 21,000, which is nothing but M2. Similarly, molecular mass of C is nothing but this 42 into this 600. And its answer is 25,200. That is nothing but M3. Here N1 is 20, N2 is 30, and N3 is 50. So now with this data, we can calculate this problem similar to the previous problem. So the formula for MN bar is MN bar is equal to 2, N1 M1 plus N2 M2 plus N3 M3 whole divided by N1 plus N2 plus N3. Substitute all these values to this equation. Then the equation becomes MN bar is equal to 2, 20 into 16,800 plus 30 into 21,000 plus 50 into 25,200 whole divided by 20 plus 30 plus 50. On simplification, it becomes this much value. On further simplification, it becomes 22 lakhs, 26,000 whole divided by 100. And the final answer is 22,260. Next, we have to calculate MW bar. For that, the formula is MW bar is equal to N1 M1 square plus N2 M2 square plus N3 M3 square whole divided by N1 M1 plus N2 M2 plus N3 M3. Substitute all these to this equation. Then MW bar is becomes this much. On simplification, the value is this much. And uh, by dividing these two terms, and the final value is 22,743 units. Then polydispersity index can be calculated by dividing MW bar whole divided by MN bar. That is 22,743 divided by 22,260. And finally, on simplification, the final value is 1.02, which is greater than 1.